Jurors and accused Creighton killer Anthony Garcia's murder trial saw and heard more gruesome evidence as prosecutors continued to lay out their case. Today, jurors heard how Dr. Roger and Mary Brumbach were murdered inside their home. Senior reporter Jake Waskowski has the latest from the Douglas County Courthouse. Jake? Well, ladies, the brutal autopsy photos from the 2008 murders were too much for one of the jurors who asked for a break right in the middle of them. But then, as you mentioned, later on in the day, they actually talked about the 2013 murders as well. In a matter of hours, jurors are transported five years to relive all of the Creighton killings. Anthony Garcia is charged with the murders of Thomas Hunter and Shirley Sherman in 2008 and Dr. Roger and Mary Brumback in 2013. Prosecutors reviewed the grisly details of how Hunter and Sherman were killed through autopsy photos. We won't show them, but here are the diagrams. Forensic pathologist Michelle Eliff testifies that Sherman was stabbed 18 times on the right side of her neck, the fatal wound, when the knife was thrust through her neck. Thomas also had stab wounds on the right side and a knife left through his neck. The defense wanted to know if Dr. Eliff could tell who died first or if Hunter's body looked staged. She couldn't definitively answer either. Then prosecutors paint a beautiful Mother's Day 2013 with a grisly scene. Piano mover Jason Peterson testified two days later he saw a gun magazine in their doorway. Quote, I've moved a lot of things to get a piano ready, but I've never moved a gun clip. Roger Brumbach was found shot and stabbed. His wife stabbed to death in the living room. Detective Derek Moyce went through the entire crime scene detailing gunshot wounds to Roger's back and leg and stab wounds to his neck. Detective Moyce indicates a knife was found underneath and next to his wife in the living room. Her face, head and the right side of her neck had been stabbed. She apparently had defended herself. The knives were taken from the kitchen. Now, during the defense's cross-examination, they went after the detective's theory that Roger Brumbach was actually shot in front of his door, yet they say there was no blood spatter on that door. It was actually all inside the home, and they also disputed that there could have been three shots, possibly more than that, because one uh, witness who lived in the nearby area may have heard three booms that happened that Sunday. Reporting live in the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Thanks, Jake.